to all the tack heads, knuckleheads, survivors, and general haters of Andrew Chadisha Caldwell, welcome. Um, I think I'm going to do a couple of just talking videos like this and just talk on a couple of points um, regarding Sister Caldwell and all of her internet shenanigans. I'm gonna try to tackle one specific topic per video. Right now, I'm just kinda gonna flow off the top of my head. Um, I'm sitting here, just watching the most recent live where, you know, she wanted to uh, profile out with somebody because, you know, people that get on her panel are either um, supporters slash people with good spirits. Um, they're nasty or they're hurt. You know, they've been through some hurt in their lives. So this particular lady got on there. I was already a fan of hers because she got on there with her blunt in her hand and she was just waving it and did not care. And he was sitting there looking dumbfounded because, you know, he was trying not to be uh, his normal nasty self, but he wanted to say something. So that face was just told the hell up. And, you know, finally he, you know, brought it out and she put it away and he wanted to tell her again, sorry, it's a truck coming. The truck will interrupt my flow. Anyway, so after she put the blunt down and he wanted to uh, tell her how, you know, how hurt she was, but she's a good person and, you know, God just wants a yes from her and all this, you know, good Kojic hot sack of lion mess. So there were uh, two other people on the panel besides the two of them and it was a guy and the guy just kind of came out of nowhere and was saying, you know, God, the take the taste of you know all those things off the top of your tongue and i was like well amen do you know this sanctified sissy got her face twisted and her panties in a knot because somebody else dared to uh impede on her profit line gig but the shade was the guy was actually in the spirit the guy was actually genuine but you know sis and her uh spirit of discernment can't tell genuine from fake and so you know she uh got the nerve to get offended that he actually you know was speaking positive and speaking something spiritual into this woman's life and that just goes to show you how spiritually untuned andrew is you know he claims day in and day out to be you know saved sanctified filled with the holy ghost and you know, with the evidence of speaking in tongues and, you know, speaking in tongues, that's a whole nother video for a whole nother day. So we just going to put that to the side. But seems to me if you are really spiritual and, you know, you are really of the spirit, you would know more than four partial scriptures. I don't know if anybody ever pays attention, but when he's quote unquote in the spirit and I'm throwing up the fingers, it's always the same phrases. And it's always the same partial scriptures. You know, it's always save, uh, deliver, and set free. It's always uh, be separate. Um, what else? It is uh, come out from amongst them. And then be separate, says the Lord. Um, it's always renew your mind with the bird. I'm thinking that's spelled W-E-E-E-R-D, not W-O-R-D. So maybe it's a different word than the word that, you know, the rest of us say, sanctified people read. Maybe that's the problem. Um, yeah, so it's always those same half scriptures and it's always those same church phrases. That's when people talk about, you know, you two, uh, you're religious. Because there's a difference between being religious and being spiritual. The average human is spiritual on, you know, one level or another. They're, they acknowledge something out there that's bigger than them and you know, they acknowledge that it's not their own power that's making things happen. They may not subscribe to, you know, the Christian Jesus or whatever the case is, but they are in tune with something more higher than them. 
this mother on the other hand he has been in so many churches and sat under so many fake preachers that he's picked up phrases and jargon and terms that are constantly used within the church and he strings them together to make it appear that he is saved and to the average person who may not have you know grown up or attended black churches you know previously or just to the completely delusional they would think that he you know was speaking some oh he saved you hear you hear what he's saying he said saved delivered and set free oh jesus that's churchy and that's exactly what it is it's churchy it has nothing to do with god it has nothing to do with spirituality it's 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 phrases you know i'm i'm black but i can learn some spanish phrases and string them together and make it sound real pretty that don't mean i'm spanish and don't mean i know the language i just heard some phrases and put them together and that's my point with him and it bugs me that there are so many delusional delivered tears out there that actually egg him on that throw up the uh praying hands and thank you emojis that uh urge him to continue on that uh tell him that his spirit is so genuine and i just want to know where these people come from because if you think that's genuine if you think he is speaking truth remind me never to hang out with you because you you don't have enough common sense to hang out with me and i can't count on you if i ever get in trouble i i, I just i just don't get it and there's actually people fools that let him pray for them like i remember there was one lady and i felt bad for her at first and then i had to kind of reconcile my thoughts because she was going through cancer and she was struggling and things like that and she was like can you pray for me and he prayed well his version of praying for her and she accepted it and i'm wondering is she that desperate and in need of something to believe in that she will take anybody praying for her and I mean the Bible basically speaks on you know be careful who lays hands on you be careful who prays over you and I just wonder was she just is she just that desperate for a miracle that she would walk up to a damn cow in the pasture and let that cow move over her and she would say thank you jesus and accept that as a prayer um i i don't i don't want that type of uh belief system and um yeah it just it just frustrates me and sometimes i look at it as a joke and sometimes i get offended because at the end of the day he is just a joke but at the same time he is playing with nothing he's playing with things that he has no idea about his plan with uh, forces that people really believe in and abide by. And he's making a mockery of the church and nobody's doing a damn thing about it. Um, I know I've tagged Kojic more than a few times in his lives um, to the point where he started uh, kicking me out of his lives because I was tagging him. But you know you're this all-powerful denomination and you know this fool is out here rampant spreading lies and his own words to the word twisting them around for his own purpose and at the same time spewing hate and dissension and tying it in with the word and yet you are doing nothing about it and he is the he's one of the main reasons why a lot of people don't want to go to church or don't believe in organized religion because you have fools like that you have fools like that in the pulpit and out the pulpit who take the word dissect it and put it back together to fit their own agendas and to fit their own purposes and the word clearly says that nothing shall be added to or taken away from this word and yet Fools like him do it on a daily, as he would say, a daily base. And I just wonder, 
because I definitely believe in God. I believe in Jesus and I believe in the Holy Ghost. And I just wonder when God is just going to come down and slap him on the mouth and say, okay, this is your first and final warning. I, I, I don't get it. It's like, what is it going to take for somebody to put a stop to his shenanigans? So um, if you guys have any ideas, you want to chime in, please feel free to com uh, comment. Um, thank you for the people who have started subscribing to this channel. Um, I did this as a response to Andrew trying to uh, shut down my girl surviving Andrew Caldwell slash uh, Moose Knuckles. It's just, um, it's, it's, it's unfair. And if you really thought about it, in a small way, we're actually helping him because we're bringing views to his lives and views to his channels because people want to see, you know, is this nigga for real? So low key, we're helping him out at the same time when we're exposing his truth and he can't see past the fact that we're exposing all of his lies. So he wants to throw out um, copyright claims and, and things of that nature. So he's trying to get, you know, different channels shut down, videos removed. He's actually put two strikes um, on my channel already. And my channel has just been active with a little over a week. And he's already hit me with two strikes. So, of course, we know if the third strike comes, um, this channel is done. But I'll be damned if I let someone like him bully me and bully us when all we're doing is telling the truth. So, you know, if you like, you know, this channel, the Usher Board, uh, Mother Sister Bloop Bloops, um, Moose Knuckles, um, somebody has said any anybody that's you know um attached to the cancel andrew movement um if you support any of us you know right in the youtube uh send instagram and facebook a message and let them know what he's doing he's basically using loopholes and lying to get the truth shut down um, but again, as long as I as long as I have the will and and some effort in me, you know, I will keep posting the videos. Um, I'm going to post more clips of me talking like this. So again, um, like, comment, and subscribe. Spread the word, and uh, we'll talk later.